Hey, Nigel, it seems like you've been playing off the ball a whole lot more than you were at the start of the year. Do you like the way uh, the offense is flowing with you doing that? Uh, I have no complaints with what my coaches think is best for the team. Um, if it's the game where they need me to come off the ball, uh, make plays for others, getting to make plays for myself, then that's what I'm going to do. If they need me to handle the ball and be that true point guard that I am, I can do that as well. It really shows my versatility, which is really a good thing for me, but also a good thing for the team. You guys started off really hot, and you did individually shooting, um, took a 17-10 lead. What was just the biggest challenge in trying to sustain that throughout the game? I mean, it's a long game. Um, being a 40-minute game, we know they're going to make runs, and we know we're going to make runs. Um, we, we know we made improvement. Um, last few games, we always come out kind of sluggish. Um, the teams usually jump out on us, and it was a good thing for us to be able to jump out on a team today. Um, it kind of shows that we're improving. Um, being able to, to sustain that over 40 minutes will be um, what, what our goal would be. What, what would you say is the missing ingredient on defense right now? Um, it's just that it, um, that experience and kind of that, um, I would say, mental toughness, I would say. Um, as it gets late into the shot clock, as it gets late into the game, we haven't had a media timeout in a minute. Guys start getting tired, kind of start getting lazy. I can say that about myself. I even, I've even done it a few times where uh, I didn't kind of got lazy on my man, um, and then they end up getting the score. Um, really, that that's what's going to take us to the next level, and that's what can make us a championship team when we start building, pushing through that mental and physical toughness. All right. Thanks, Nigel. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Nigel. Uh, how emotional did he get out there on the court today? Uh, it was a really emotional game. Coach told us before the game, he even wrote up on the board, play with emotion. Um, that's what we did. Um, sometimes I think we play with a little too much emotion. Um, being being young, um, it's, it's definitely young mistakes. I mean, coming from AAU where you could clap in somebody's face and ref wouldn't say a thing to now in college basketball where you can um, really get excited. Um, I feel like my teammates are definitely going to learn from it. And I think next time or it won't happen again down the road. Just another lesson that had to be learned along the way. Yeah, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta learn the lesson yourself. Um, it's that somebody else doing it. it had to be us today. Um, it sucks, but it's definitely better now than later. Thank you. Uh, next question, Michael Go. Well, Nigel, how deep are the defensive concept compared to what you were used to at high school and? your fellow freshmen who have been used to for the last several years? I mean, I'm just, it's a lot of better talent um, playing, especially in the Big 12, one of the best, or I could say the best conference in the country. Um, every night you're going to play somebody really good. Coming from high school, um, you could kind of slack a little bit on defense. Now, uh, if you slack defense, I mean, the offense is going to make you pay, um, especially when it's being young and um, sometimes playing even undersized with other teams. We got to be the more physical team and we got to be the tougher team. And how would you just stay on Bradford's impact when he was in the game tonight? I mean, Davion is always a great impact, especially with him being a seven-footer. Um, There's not too many of those in our league we played. He was definitely the biggest, tallest guy on the court. Um, and he caused a lot of attention, drawed a lot of attention. Um, he's still young, and I feel like he has lots of room to grow. Um, and I feel like I have full trust and 100% confidence in him that next game he's going to go back to the to Davion that we all know and believe in. Do you feel like you you guys as a game collectively can expand with Davion continuing to to do great things? I mean, I believe our 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 our, our game is going to expand the whole year. I mean, um, even with Davion and Casey coming back uh, whenever he does, and even Luke coming back, and all our guys starting to come back, we're being even more poised to the floor, um, bringing more scoring, bringing more experience, and bringing more bodies that we could use. Um, being able, you know, being able to um, have that defensive presence uh, with the more bodies, being able to sub and things like that when the guys get tired. Uh, 